Well, our other top story tonight, the Michigan GOP is in disarray after voting to remove current party chair Christina Caramo. Here's where things get pretty interesting. Caramo says she isn't going anywhere and says that vote over the weekend isn't valid. Will Jones, live in the newsroom, working this story for us. Will, this seems to be quite a stalemate. Yeah, exactly. Karen and Damana spoke with Christina Caramo this afternoon. She says her administration is planning to take action to hold those responsible for the illegal meeting over the weekend where she was voted out. The Michigan GOP making it clear this morning in its weekly newsletter that Christina Caramo is still in charge. Over the weekend at a special meeting in Commerce Township, a vote was taken to remove Caramo as chair, some members accusing her of destroying the party. These individuals have violated several aspects of the bylaws in an attempt to um, unlawfully remove me as chair. That vote coming less than a year after the former community college instructor was selected as chair. I'm just focused on winning elections. Yes, this is a, a distraction, but that's kind of the point. You know, since I became elected as chair of the Michigan Republican Party, there's been an effort to delegitimize de me as chair. The ongoing chaos has Michigan Republicans on edge. It's not, you know, a great way to attract candidates, but it's also not a great way to attract non-Republican voters to the party. Republican strategist Jason Rowe says it's not too late to right the ship before the upcoming election. But I expect with what happened on Saturday that we're probably going to see a lot more uh, kicking and screaming over the next weeks and months that are going to get in the way of campaigns organizing and working with the party to be effective in November. Caramel says the Michigan GOP has bylaws to handle the conduct that happened over the weekend. She wouldn't go into detail about the next steps. We also reached out to the Republican National Committee for comment and have not heard back yet. Karen, back to you. All right, we appreciate it. Thank you, Will. Well, that turmoil in our state's Republican Party comes as the 2024 election cycle is heating up. The Iowa caucuses are now just one week away, one of the first major tests in the primary season. The GOP candidates are chasing former President Donald Trump, who is far and away the front runner in the polls. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis took shots of each other over the weekend, DeSantis suggesting Haley is really in this race running for her donors. Haley saying DeSantis has been dishonest with his attacks. The two will get another chance to make their appeal to voters. Both are taking part in a debate on Wednesday.